Now we're going to mount the, the top on here um, to kind of give you an idea how to do that. We've got this three quarter inch uh, bolt right here. I'm going to pick this whole unit up and bring it over that way. You can see how it shifts back and forth. I would have already put in this um, <laughs> this bolt at this point um, because what you really want to do is you really just want to put this in and then level it out. Always have something to set it up on. I'm going to show you something that I've I've purchased. You can go down to you know your Lowe's or Sears store or whatever. This is actually a roller unit for a, um, what I'll end up doing is, is putting it out pretty far and, you know, putting it up as high as you can. Now, when you have your camera on it, um, I would suggest putting a bungee cord on it, wrap that around there. Okay. Now we've got a washer and a bolt. And uh, yes, it is somewhat precarious. What I would do is I'd actually buy a couple of those nuts, three quarter inch nuts, because if you don't get that on there right, guess where it's going? It's gonna, it's gonna go at the bottom of your, your rod there, and the only way to get it out is to, to um, take it out and start all over. this in uh, may seem a little bit unorthodox, but I'll take and get a pair of channel locks in here. And since you can't, I can't get anything down in here, I'll end up just moving by wedging that bolt in there. And now the whole unit is set. I'm going to put a few other little pieces on to kind of give you more little idea and then what we'll do is I'll put the counterweights. I won't put the camera on because uh, actually that's what I'm using. So now I've got some little pieces of, of angle iron here that I'll use this to mount my, my video display unit. Now I've got a nice Vera zoom but I'm using that on my Canon right now, so um, I've got another one. And I think I was lucky because I already had a lot of this stuff. Now what you're going to have to do is, however you, if, if you've got a, a, a small video display unit, because this one here I you know, bought for myself because I wanted a little tape unit, um, and I actually just mount it and swivel it. Now one of the things I do, I gotta make sure that it stays on there. Got a little bungee cord. And I put it on there. So that gives me my, gives me my display unit. Now you can still see it is not weighted at all. And what you'll end up having to do is take and, and purchase a bunch of different weights um, and then really try to balance it. I've got a bucket. I've got a bucket of weights that I use and since I don't have the camera on it I, I don't have to, to weigh it that, that much but um, what I'll end up doing is putting weights on I'm quite sure these may be a little bit too much for it Nope. Once I have the camera, I can throw about all of these, these weights on. It's really pretty close where it's at. Now you can see that that right there is 
is really off. So I don't need that much, but you can tell that it, it actually moves very smoothly. Now, one of the things that, that you'll need, you don't necessarily have to have it at the beginning, but it makes it really helpful, um, is if you take and get some type of a unit that will control your camera. And I went out and I purchased one of the cheaper, and I think it was like, um, oh gosh, I think like $39 or something like that. You can get it onto eBay. But then uh, one of the things that I, I found is these are one of the, uh, the VeraZoom um, uh, controllers. Now, if you want to go out and purchase one of these, I think they're close to $300, $342, something like that. But it's got the wide angle, the record, uh, photo, um, it's on the back, it's got focus, and then there's a knob down here that will either accelerate or deaccelerate how fast it zooms in. Now, one of the things that is really good with this piece uh, is you can actually make this wide enough so I can put this on here and it becomes one of my grips. Uh, so I can then use it for my wide angle and control my camera from here. Um, the unit really is a nice piece and what I did find out in, in the other one is that it will automatically um, shut off at times and you really don't want that. That's how to put this unit together. It, it tears down just as fast. Uh, I've had great results from it and um, I hope you will too. Uh, I'll leave some of the uh, more information in the sidebar. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure to make a comment and uh, we'll be able to, to take care of any questions that you have. Have a great day and this is DIY Video Equipment.